Let's see Slade in action yeah, with a 70s yeah. classic. That brings back memories. Does it bring back good memories? Yeah, good memories, yeah. Great days, those. I knew it was all good fun in those days. We all had a laugh, didn't we, David? Mm. We did, Didn't yeah. take it too seriously. Do you no. think take it too seriously now? Do you think well, it's when I watch the telly, I don't see very many bands on the telly these days smiling and looking like they're having a good time. No, they don't, you're right. They take it all a bit too deep. Mm. It's all a bit deep. Mm. Do you think the whole industry, though, is a bit more cynical now? Well, the whole industry now is based around the accountants and making lots of money. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, record companies now run by accountants, and you have to be making those lots of books to keep a record contract these days. Are you out in your ear? Didn't oh, you make lots of money, money, all those hits that you mm -hmm. had, all those years? Oh, yes. Yeah. Spent a lot as well. Yeah. Oh, good. Did you enjoy spending it? <laughs> I did. I'm glad. And the tax was very high in those days. We were mm. paying, at our height, we were paying 83% in the pound. Cool. Wow, goodness me. 83p in every quid. And you were, David, at the time. I was, yes. Mm. Uh, yeah. The fashion it took, was it took a brave man to stay in the UK, and we were brave. We yeah. were brave. Well, you were British. British. You were British. Yeah. You were actually paying at the start of the 70s about 16 bob in every pound then, weren't mm -hmm. you? If you mm -hmm. That's right, because the money changed. Yes. Sadly. That's if you got paid, of course. Mm. We oh. could have become tax exiles, but we were basically a very British band. Mm. And uh, our base were here. We loved living over here in the Midlands. Mm. And, but we'd have actually made more money if we'd have gone and lay in the sun for 12 months and done nothing. We'd have made more money. God, that's crazy, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. Talking about crazy, that song there. I saw it on the titles. Do you remember you used to get into trouble for the spelling? Remember we school hadn't. teachers used to say that band? They don't uh, yeah. spell and they're bad influence. The BBC in actually did a, a series about phonetic spelling and they used our spellings of titles as examples because they started teaching phonetic spelling in schools. Mm. It never came off, it never worked properly, but uh, they did use it for a time. Why did you do that? Why did you spell your, your songs yeah, like It was that? like uh, we, we got the idea from the graffiti from the black country toilet walls of the black country where we come from is they wrote on the walls in the dialect of did a lot speak. of research. Yes, oh, plenty of research, yeah. Goodness, and the fashions were something else as well. You used to wear great big hats, didn't you? Great big hats, With yes. The mirrors the on big it. platform sole shoes. How did you know? That's the thing about platforms. Did you not find it difficult walking in them? Well, I didn't personally, but I didn't have them that high, but our guitar player, Dave, he used to have them about six oh, inches high. Oh, he had crazy ones, didn't he? Yeah, he, he, really he broke sure. his ankle a couple of times. He what did a whole it? tour once. He broke his ankle on the first night of one tour. He was dragged mm. off stage. He broke his ankle, and he did the whole tour in a wheelchair. <laughs> With the platforms on? With the platforms on. <laughs> <laughs> on his unbroken foot. <laughs> And he had his plaster covered in silver paper. Lovely. They used to wheel him round. God, it was strange. Wasn't well, it? I see that. I think it, at the end of the sixties and the very early seventies, the bands were sort of dressing very straight, and it was all about long guitar solos. There was no really entertaining the public. I'm talking about live. Um, bands used to stand on stage playing guitar solos for about twenty minutes, and. Mm. I think the, all the early 70s stuff that came out was a reaction against that. You know, mm -hmm. it was involving the audience again in, in the music and the stage act. Certainly was for Slade, anyway. Yeah, I mean, uh, accept that. And yes, a lot of it was done with a smile on your face. But there was a lot of good stuff it around. It was great music. Time, oh, yeah. We, uh, took, we took the music really yeah. seriously. I mean, we might have got on TV and that looking daft, but, I mean, we, mm. we took making records very seriously and, and certainly our songwriting. 